Well, new Mainers have helped to fill thousands of jobs in our state at a time when many businesses are really desperate to find workers. Hundreds of immigrants also own businesses in Maine. CBS 13's Brad Rogers shows us what's setting them apart and what's holding them back. Growing up, uh, my, my, my parents have a fish farm. Quang Nguyen says he and his family worked hard in Vietnam, but it wasn't until he moved to Maine that he saw that hard work pay off. I, I know what it's like to, um, to work hard and to achieve things. After getting a business degree in Maine, he became a financial advisor. So doing like insurance and uh, retirement planning. He then opened a nail salon, variety store, real estate business, and now this seafood business and restaurant in Brunswick. Not bad for someone who bought his first plane ticket to the wrong city. Booked the wrong ticket, and I'm in Portland, Oregon, instead of Portland, Maine. Didn't know it was to Portland. Around 2,500 Maine businesses are owned by immigrants. In Lewiston, they've revived the business district on Lisbon Street. Immigrant-owned businesses are spread all throughout Maine. Last year, collectively, they took in $48 million in revenue. And immigrants comprise 4% of Maine's working population. We love being here. We love doing business in Maine. I never lived in another state, so I don't know much. People are coming here. They're supporting the business. Andre Zamana owns Burundi Star Coffee, now with two locations in Portland. We grew a little bit. I think... Uh, that was before we opened our second location inside Unum. This past summer, his company planted 10,000 coffee trees in Burundi to support his business and the people who work for him back home. It's very exciting. It's helping a lot of people over there. Both businessmen are excited about the governor's recent announcement for a new state office of new Americans. Wynn says the biggest roadblock for immigrants is they don't know the resources available to them. A lot of immigrant-owned businesses we don't know that exist. He says with that kind of state help, the sky's the limit. Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.